Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Tonight, we are discussing some of my biggest surprise whiskeys in the year 2020. This is a sponsored video. I literally rode the coattails of the bourbon junkies all the way to this point. If you go to into the AM backslash or slash, is it backslash or slash? I don't know. I'll put it on the screen and then I'll put it in the, the description below. Slash ADHD. You will get 10% off your order. The way these shirts feel on me. Look at, look at what I can do. I can do all the movements necessary to cheer at a football game. I'm, I'm flexible enough. I have never looked more like Dwayne The Rock Johnson than I do right now in this perfectly fitted super lightweight into the AM t-shirt with a spaceman on it. To be super honest, I wasn't expecting a super high quality shirt, but this is probably the highest quality shirt I own. I'm used to heavy t-shirts that are cheap and make me feel cheap. This t-shirt is cheap and makes me feel like $300 million. If you want to save 10% off your order, go to into the AM slash ADHD or use promo code ADHD at checkout and you will get 10% off your order. Follow my link and then sign up for their tea club and you'll get a free t-shirt your first month. This moon man spacecraft guy graphic tea is out of this world. And speaking of out of this world, let's talk about the most surprising bourbons and whiskeys I've had in 2020. Before we get into the top five, let's talk about our runner up. If it was a top six list, this would be number six. It's Barrel Bourbon, batch 21. This one, best bourbon on the planet at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. It's a product of Tennessee, Indiana, and Kentucky. The folks over at Barrel Bourbon are doing tremendous things with blending. I can't say a lot for other barrel products. Um, I've had this, batch 21, and the Dovetail, and I'm a fan of them both. Both really good. This was a pleasant surprise in 2020. My number five most surprising whiskey in 2020 was sent to me by Cody B. And Cody B was like, yo B, have you tried Maker's Mark 101? And I was like, no. And I really don't have the urge to. And he was like, I'm sending you it. I'm sending you a bottle. And he did. And Cody B sent me this, son of a B. And it is probably my favorite Maker's Mark product. This one comes in at the right proof. It's got a great mouthfeel, great finish. I would say that this is my favorite Maker's and I was not expecting that. Moving along to number four, as I sit here comfortably in this Into the AM graphic t-shirt. Old Soul 15 year is my fourth biggest surprise in the year 2020. I did not know this existed. I had no clue. Not, not even, I did not know. It's a cask strength, 15 year, 102 proof, non-chill filtered, straight bourbon whiskey. It's from Cathead Distillery, 2020 rare and limited release. It's damn good. It's not cheap though. Thanks Ben for this bottle. That brings us to number three. My third biggest surprise whiskey in 2020 belongs to the Jim Beam Distillery and it came in the form of a Knob Creek 15 year limited edition. It's 15 years old, it's 100 proof, it's a hundred buck. This bottle definitely has mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people aren't big fans of it. I expected to be one of the not big fans of it. It's 15 years and it's a hundred proof. And you know what I'm getting at. There are a lot of 15 year, 120 proof single barrel picks out there for half the price of this bottle. So what's the catch? Why is this double the price and 20 less proof? Well, it's cause it's blended really good. It's hella good. It's super good. This is what I would consider to be not on profile Jim Beam. This is off profile Knob Creek. A lot of the nuttiness that you get on most Knob Creek products is kind of eliminated. There's still a, there's still a little nuttiness remaining, but a lot of the rich caramels and sweet oaks and brown sugars really come out of really come out of this bourbon. And I'm a huge fan of this. Thank you DC for sending me this bottle of Knob Creek 15. You fantastic, wonderful, amazing person who I want to give a gigantic hug to. Now let's talk about the runner-up. The runner-up 
was something I had seen before, but never even thought that I would want to buy. I wouldn't have bought this bottle in a million years. Maybe a million, I don't know. Probably in a million I would have, but not in this lifetime. I would have kept passing on it. I listened to a lot of people saying that Clyde May's whiskey is not good, that it is apple and yucky. I would have never bought a Clyde May's whiskey product because the whole Alabama style whiskey thing didn't seem like it would be up my alley. When I opened a care package from Dan and Julie Allen, pulled this bottle out, I was like, okay, I guess we'll try it. Turns out, friggin' love it. This is a nine year cask strength, 117 proof, Clyde Mays whiskey. It's distilled and aged for nine years, charred American oak barrels. The original limited release, Alabama style whiskey. If I'm craving cask strength whiskey with the ultimate sweet tooth, this is it right here. This is it. It is super sweet, super apple-y, and super tasty. I love it a lot. And I was extremely surprised to find out how good this was. I dig it. I freaking dig it. Typically, by this point in the video, I would be sweating profusely and uncomfortable. But thanks to this glorious Into the AM t-shirt, I am staying cool and just so happy. It feels like I'm not wearing a shirt. And then I got concerned and had to look in the mirror to make sure I was still wearing a shirt. My biggest surprise in whiskey in 2020 goes to Peerless Distilling and their single barrels. Their rye and their bourbon are like, what the heck? If you come across a Peerless single barrel, whether it's the bourbon or the rye, See if you can get a taste of it. These things vary wildly. I, I tasted through so many single barrels and was like, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? And by the time I got done what the hacking, I had like every single flavor. Like, these are so different and so good. The bourbon I have is a, it's a low and slow pick and it's hand selected by their master distiller, friggin' Caleb. And it, it literally tastes like barbecue, like, it tastes like Kansas City barbecue. It's crazy. Some of these taste like Reese's peanut butter cups and other, one, other ones taste like a rack of ribs. You just never know. We also went through a bunch of their ryes and their ryes vary a lot too. From like juicy fruit gum to like extreme, extreme minty stuff, toffee and tobacco. And then this one is called, this one is the Wolf of Rye Street. This was, this was a really spicy one that I really liked and picked out while I was there. I would say for sure, before you buy a single barrel of it, try to get a sample. That's why a distillery tour would probably be the best. But if you go into a store that is selling a single barrel, see if you can get a sample to see if it's up your alley. Because like I said, these can vary tremendously. All the ones I tried were really good and wildly different. Peerless single barrels, my biggest Surprise in 2020. Most surprising whiskey. I'll just put them down there. What was the biggest surprise in whiskey for you in 2020? My name is Matt and this is ADHD Whiskey. And if that Forrest Gump impression was so terrible that I had to cut it out of the video, then my name is Matt and this is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on trying things that you just don't know about because you might be surprised. Like frozen pizzas from companies out of state that are actually not gross but great. Friggin' California Pizza Kitchen. Son of a bee, that's good pizza. I'm gonna go make one. I'm on a diet, crap. <sighs> I'm gonna think about making one, but I won't do it. 